Right guys, I'm going to talk about how to recover data from your hard drives just in case if your PC dies or your power supply dies or motherboard or any case, you know, you've got a power surge or something and you need the data that's on your drives and there's two types, the old drives, the IDE ones they're basically something like this with the pins on them just get that closer so you can have a little look let me just focus that in for you and focus come on right there you go so this is like a laptop one and there we go that's a laptop one and the other one is a larger version uh, the three and a half these are basically in your old PCs and these have got the same connection that's the IDE connection there and then you've got these pin selectors and on the pin selectors on some of them you will have it will tell you where to put the pin but as it's a single drive that you're going to plug in it's better to put it as a master hard drive so let me see if I can get those a little bit better to show you. Let's go on to the other camera. Yeah, there we go. So as you can see there, we've got like cable select. Here we go. Right, if we look at these now at the bottom, we have the master OneDrive, so that's probably what you want to do if you're going to put it on some kind of USB device or something. Master, Slave and Cable Select. Cable Select is it automatically selects uh, if it's a Master or a Slave. And this is for limiting. You want the top one, the general pin settings, these ones here. So the Master one will be the first two pins and the Slave will be empty. And if you want cable select, it'll be that one there. Okay, so if you look at this now, and it, this is in the center, well, second pins. First two are empty, then it's the next one. So if you look at that on here, this is a limit capacity of 32 gigabytes per, right? Okay, so that is on a slave, on the slave one. yeah so we got that cleared out of the way on on these other ones the laptop ones because there's only one drive in the laptop so basically you don't need to even select it but it does have the same settings on there to show you if you want to put it as a second one there so if you look there it's got like cable select the pin where it is if you want to put it in and if it's a master usually there's nothing on them anyway so that's the settings on the little hard drives on the IDE ones for the laptops in the case of the SATA drives if you look at these ones let me just get that focused in actually I'm on the wrong camera okay let me just get that in there and focus there we go so if you look at these ones these like solid pins they're not like the other ones so basically these ones are a bit more better because you know which way you're putting them in and they've got like an L shape on the side so you can't push it in the wrong way around that's for the power and that's for your data oh sorry that's for your uh, data setter and that's your power so on this one you don't have to on these they don't have the selection pins because that will be automatically detected in the uh, hard drive because these are usually for laptops so in a laptop usually you get one and if it is a second one these usually will be cable select okay let me get back to the top view and the camera I need to fix the camera
Okay, let's leave it on autofocus. Okay. And then you've got the larger one, the same again, as you can see with the same connections there. On this one, you get the selection on the pins. And they don't give you nothing on this one for, for selecting. I think this will be cable select. So basically, this one's a cable select one. I think these pins is for uh, like a data recovery or something like that they use them for so right okay so basically we've got two of them that are IDE and two of them that are SATA connections so basically what you will be needing is you can buy a docking station something like this let me just get the other camera so basically this is like a docking station which gives you a charging port so if you want to charge your phone or something a fast port on it as well and this is a USB 3 I don't know if you can see that there yeah there you go USB 3 so this will be a bit of faster data transfer right over there and these ones can make copies of your hard drives as well so if you've got a hard drive that's your USB 3 connection in there and your power and your on-off switch and I think I'll sort that right okay and this I put on there because usually yeah they've got like a sequence uh, hold down for hold three hold down for three LEDs to flash basically uh, basically what it is it's got a little button here on here I don't know if you can hear that and you push that for like about uh, keep it in till you see the three LEDs flashing and then once you see the three LEDs flashing you push it once more and that will start copying one drive to the other drive and this is just a SATA connection as you can see in there so if we have a SATA this will take both types of drives so it'll take your small one and the larger one two and a half and three and a half ones so basically like that let me just get that bit there okay so basically this way all you have to do is push it down until you see the three leds there it goes on them let me just get that focused in for you okay and this focusing thing okay here we go no it was actually focused okay maybe I've not got good there we go okay so basically what you do on this one is you push this and then you'll see the three LEDs light up those three LEDs and once they light up and you want to push that once more so what will happen you'll have this drive by the way you don't get that written on there I wrote that uh, just to remind myself uh, what you will be doing is you'll have the original drive in there that you want to copy to the back one so this is your target drive as you can see I've put a target on there the back one so you say this is your new hard drive and this is the one that's you know is going and it's still working but you want to copy that over to that one and that's one feature that is built into this so that's one way of doing it or if you don't want to copy it to the hard drive if you just want to read the data if you have it plugged in all you have to do is you got all all the power and the USB in there and all you have to do is connect that and your PC or laptop whatever you have or Mac and depending on what you're trying to read on a Mac you'll be only be able to read Mac drives and uh, on the PC if you want to read your PC hard drive uh, that is basically from a PC and another computer like Windows XP uh, Windows 7 or Vista or any other Windows and you've got a Windows system and you plug this into that this will give you another drive letter in the file manager so if you look at that and then basically as long as it's not encrypted uh, and you get that option when you load your windows and if it's not encrypted 
basically you'll be able to see all your files and you'll be able to transfer them over to your desktop computer and that's if you know your hard drive is okay there's no faults on it and that's your computers uh, just had water damage or something like that because that sometimes in the water damage your hard drives are okay and you can take them out so that is that one or if you want don't want to get a docking station there's another option and let me just go to the that one but that's the docking station for you and let me just show you another one that you can get like if you've got just a laptop you can buy these cables these are for your old laptops and if you look on this these can only go in one way so you'll have them basically go in like is it that way just check get the pins in yeah there we go so this now is this can be plugged into an IDE motherboard so if you have a motherboard that has got an IDE connection like the old style one and you want to use the hard driver as it is that's another option you'll have to plug your power in there and uh, let me just get it to the other camera so you can have a little better view on this okay so you you got the power cable you need this to run this and this will go into your motherboard connector they always go in one way and just make sure you put it in the right way uh, once that's in there and this and you boot up your pc if you go into the bios uh, if it's on auto detect it will automatically detect the drive and you can take your data off that's another option for the old ide type of uh, two and a half inch drives so that's that that's this cable here and you can buy these on uh, uh, ebay and like that kind of stuff uh, well if you look it up on the internet you'll be able to find out to convert a laptop drive to another then there's another one that you can buy it's basically this here it's a R drive USB 2 to SATA IDE cable and this one basically it's not the same one that I've got in here is it the same one no. okay so that is another way and I'll just show you that one this one the one I've got is a bit better this one I don't know where I've got it this one's got your SATA connection actually let me get to the other camera again this one has your setup connection and it's got a little LED there to show you it's active and then you've got the three and a half and five and a five and a quarter drives that's the old one no one's using those anymore anyway so it's like three and a half drives will fit in there and this has got a little notch I'll just show you in the top there and if you look in your drives you have that notch at the top and the spacing I mean so just to line it up all you'll have to do is that and this will go into your laptop but it will not run on its own so you will need power so these devices some of them will come with these kind of power adopters so you all you'll have to do is plug that in to the side like that let me just go to the top view again so you will have something like this that will be connected to the mains power in there and this will go into your laptop or any USB 2 and you'll be able to see uh, this as an external hard drive okay and this what's good about this one is you can use the small there's a this smaller pins for the two and a half inch ones so we can always and there you go so but this one you don't need power for because this can is provides the power through the usb so you can get that running on that way 
so you'll have this and this will be plugged into the usb drive and you can get the data off there from that so now if you want to take the ide one off what you will need is an ide cable that would plug into yeah it only goes in one way and the other end will go in in there like that and actually this smaller cable i think i'll put the smaller one so it'll be easier to see like where i put them yeah okay let me just get the smaller ones so that i can show you okay so that will go in there and that will go in here so now this now for the power you'll get a converter from this to SATA connections basically so you will have to plug that in it, they can only be fitted in one way if you look they've got like little notches on the sides and this is shaped in that way as well so you can't put it in wrong so that it goes in there so it's like that and then you got this connector going there for the power so that way and then this USB drive again we'll go into your usb connection and then you'll get the data easily off that as well so this this way you've got an external drive as well and for the other one is the same because the connections are the same on this so that those two is the same so that's a couple of ways of getting data off your hard drives that and or if you prefer something solid you can get something like these and all you do is this is for the old ones you can buy same uh, external hard drive enclosures and uh, that can fit in the new styles as well so this if you look in here is an ide connection if you look there all the pins there and so what you do with this one is say you want to use your laptop hard drive that your laptops just died and your you know your drives are okay all you do is push that in there just get that lined up yeah, there we go so basically now you've got your usb drive in there and you push that in and there's a little lock on this and all is your usb connection goes in there and sometimes if the computer can't provide enough power you may need the usb uh, i mean the power connector for that that is a dc in usually they're about five volts i don't know if you can see that there hang on so there you go lighting off through this and see if it makes it better okay that was good i should have done that first right okay so you got the normal usb connection there and that can be plugged into that let me see if i can find one yeah there we go so you can plug that straight in there like that obviously not that one because this is uh, for something else but i'm just trying to show you but you might need some of the drives will come with the power connector in there or you might get a connector that it connects into your usb drive with the pin and then you just put that pin in there and the other one there and this way you've got a drive that you can take with you and use it as well so that's the, another way of doing it and so that's that one let me see if i then you say say you, you've got a newer uh, a new uh, laptop that's got a m2 drive uh, for that i think the best way is like get one of these enclosures but on this you've got to make sure this closed enclosure i like because it's easy to take apart and let me just get that other view so if you look here that's my m2 one terabyte in there 
as you can see there yeah one terabyte in there which I keep my backups and all that and it's quite handy and small so say if you got your uh, M2 drive that you want to read you can buy, buy these enclosures from the internet and you just make sure that the one you're getting is compatible with your uh, M2 drive or SATA drive because there are different different types of pins on these there's A, B, M and all that kind of stuff on these and this is a USB 3 it's got a little LED in there and USB 3 cable will go in there let me just get a USB 3 cable and all you have to do is plug that in and that can be plugged into your uh, laptop or any hard drive I mean PC and you can get the data off it or if you want to back up your stuff on there that's another way of doing it this will obviously these hard drives are a little expensive at the moment but uh, they will be coming down in prices sometimes you get deals 60 70 quid you probably could put it up a or probably about 80 quid I think it'll be around about uh, a terabyte because I think that's what I picked my one for and you can back up your data or read the stuff that is on there as well so you can use it for two things so that was that so basically you've got like uh, quite a lot of options for the M2 drives is that one uh, for backing up your drives you got the enclosures and there's different different types of enclosures and I don't know if I can find my other one and show you no it's got this underneath right okay and then you got the external hard drive enclosure this one I like because it's got the uh, little connector there that pushes in and just seals it up so you've got no screws on that one that's the same as well because this has got like a little notch on there so if you just push that button upwards it releases it and then you can just push it and then get it out so basically you just need a screwdriver just to put the thing in and let me see if I can find anything with the IDE uh, connection on it see that that's the old style as well that's the old one as well okay yeah there you go I've got another one here this one here backup one protect training and all that kind of stuff I think this is a I bought this on a, a car boot sale or something like that I think it was so this one if you've got an I stack drive you can just push that in there like that and you've got the connection and all you do is push the cable in there not like this one because it's just flimsy, it's too flimsy and it's just a push-in connector like that. So just to get it all in. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, there he is. So made in Saluaki, okay. Toshiba and all that. It's, this I think has got an LED in the front there. But it's the same, so you got your setter in there as well now. But I don't like this one, it's too it's okay if you want to just use it as for data recovery I mean, just plug it in and use it that way so you've got plenty of options basically so you can buy these enclosures different different types of enclosures and the cables as well because this is the one that I've, I think this is another one that I've got that is basically a same cable thing with but this does not do the setter this is just does IDE so it's better getting one that it can do all of them so that way you can this, this one here will do your setter drives ID drives as well so this is much better so I think I've got one more somewhere here yeah I have actually yeah these ones are another ones that you can buy on eBay I think they're six or seven quid something like that and these are USB 3 so these can be plugged straight into like that and that will read the hard drive I think on this if you have the power it's better because that can power the larger drives as well then because if you've got the large drive that is the ID set of drive that will power that 
And I think I've got one more that I had from another old drive. And this is from a, a drive I had. And this is Saturn, same thing again. And you can plug these in as well. There you go. And that goes into the USB and you can get the data off. So there's plenty of options there, as you can see. So I thought I'd just share that with you. For some people, you know, sometimes they drop something or the screen's broken or something like that and they want to get their data off their laptops uh, or even a PC, the power supply's died or something. And this is the easiest way that you can get all your data off. And there's uh, different, different ways of getting it off. I hope that helps you. Uh, well, help someone who's trying to get data off. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.